One of the results of the Crusades and the increased trade that happened was the beginning of the Commercial Revolution. Next year in Modern World History or AP Euro with Mr. Pibble, you'll probably talk about the Commercial Revolution in more detail. But in general, what it is is the shift to kind of more of an economy that looks like the way our countries and nations work today. If you imagine back in the Middle Ages, serfs were tied to the land, and so they were kind of obligated to stay on the land in the manner they lived on. You didn't move around. You didn't pick up and go to another manor. You really only had the option of working for the Lord and on the manor you lived. And unlike today, where people move from city to city, country to country, it doesn't happen like that in the Middle Ages. You're kind of stuck. Well, in the Crusades, a lot of people left to go to the Holy Land to try to pursue, you know, justice or to pursue wealth or glory or, you know, forgiveness of sins, depending on what their motives were. And when a lot of people left, there all of a sudden was a need for more workers. And so all of a sudden, a serf has an opportunity to leave. Before, there's, there's nowhere to go. But now there's a place to go. And as you can see at the top of this chart, you can see there's more workers that are needed. And if there are more workers needed, they're going to get paid more. So a serf now has an option to go to a town and get paid for their labor. On top of this, you start to see people start to lend money. And as you lend money, the idea of credit becomes a reality. And credit makes it easier to start businesses and to trade and to have merchants who have things and, and use bigger sums of money to do things. And the whole concept of credit is really, really powerful. And it actually expands a lot of wealth of these merchants. And as their wealth expands and their money expands, there's more taxes. And so the kings in the countries get more money. And this is a big thing that happens in the Middle Ages that starts to take place later on after the Crusades and it's going to start to shape the modern European world and even the world we live in today.